hello guys hello guys and welcome to the channel hoping that you are all doing good i hope that all of you guys are great today we are going to be talking about coach steve compella the golden arrows coach who was able to get a point last night against mamelodi de sundowns hey if you check that game they could have even won it they got some good chances the golden arrows um then we're going to touch on tito let us start with tito also you know and the orlando pirates coach touching on Yes, but it's man, we're the pirates. We're not like group play, na ji. I'm a fan, ji. We tito, we tito. He also says, ji, it's against when I'm So, um, the Orlando Pirates coach has commented on the fans singling out O Tito, singling out O Patrick. Mashwangani, you know, Niaz uh, nani. The the fans will, you know, they'll have that chant O Tito, Tito, while the game is playing. What effect does that have? And what are the thoughts coming from the Orlando Pirates coach, Jose Rivero, who has now won seven out of seven games in a row and five games in a row in the DSTV Premiership. Well done to our coach. It's been amazing. Um, as long as they continue singing uh, because they are performing well, I'm happy. I am all right. As I said many times, the fans, they ident identify the players that they like, the players who are bringing them to the stadiums, the players they like to see on the ball. And right now, we have many of those players in a good moment, in good form. Our fans, they are absolutely happy with them. If they want to sing names, if it's because they are doing a good job, it's a good thing. But everyone around needs the support. That's the most important, you know, thing that we are getting support as a team in recent weeks uh, from our fans wherever we go. The fans are there; they support. You know, the coach says, which even in Orlando Pirates, there were a couple of games in the beginning of the season that so and so we didn't finish in a happy way but right now the fans are pushing us in every scenario in every game it's motivation for the fans to come to the stadium and motivation for our boys to try and perform at that level you know that people expect from them so you get that guys the Orlando Pirates co coach has no problem with Tito being singled out he's not having a problem at all as long as Tito is having a good game, as long as the club is doing great, as long as the fans are happy, I do not also see a problem, guys. This is football, and unfortunately, um, or fortunately, the fans will have their favorites. They'll have their favorite players, you know, that they choose from. I don't necessarily think Uti, there is really anything wrong, you know, about that. Now, let us move to his coach, um, you know, a Golden Arrows. Like I said yesterday, Golden Arrows were able to draw against Mamelodi Sundowns. There was even a red card in that game. And Steve Compella says, Guti. <laughs> He says that he saw it in his dream. You know, he says, Guti, I saw this one, that there was a possibility of a goalless draw. Because even in my sleep, you know, I possibly see things. In this one, it was a white paint on the walls. It was a message. I saw it, a house being cleaned, painted in white. A clean sheet. <laughs> So in essence, Steve Compella says he saw the draw. Anyways, well done to Steve, even though I still feel like they could have gone for the kill because they had some chances where they could have punished Sundowns in terms of their counterattacks. And I don't know why they were sitting that much if there was a red card and they had the players, you know, that can uh, beat Sundowns, you know. But yeah, it is what it is. Steve Compella says he saw the draw and it's not a bad result, you know, looking at what form... Uh, golden arrows are in and how sundowns has been doing this season i think a draw is not bad at all 